Hey everyone, welcome to FilterGrade. Today we're talking about creating custom workspaces in After Effects so you can optimize your workflow and finish your projects faster. All Adobe programs offer some sort of customization, and After Effects is no different. These programs can be used for a wide variety of tasks, so they need to be flexible. So to view preset workspaces, click on the Window tab and then Workspaces. Here you'll see that there are several workspaces in addition to the default one. Animation, color, essential graphics, motion tracking, and many more are available and serve well as starting points if you're looking for a certain workflow. You'll also see some of these workspaces listed near the top right of the screen. Only a few of them show up here, but you can drag the vertical bar to the left to expand this list and reveal more of them. You can click on Edit Workspaces in the Workspaces menu to change what shows up on this list and what order they appear in. Drag around the different workspaces on this list to change the order, or drag them into the Do Not Show category if you're pretty confident that you'll never use them. Now on to customizing your workspace. Even with the presets, you may still want to adjust something to suit your needs. If you'd like to move a panel that is currently on screen, click and drag it. To ensure that you actually grab it, make sure to grab on the very top where the name of the panel is. Once you're dragging it around, you'll see docking zones, highlighted in blue. Dropping the panel into one of the four docking zones around the edges will cause the two panels to combine and split the existing space in half, giving one half to each panel. The overall size won't be affected and no other panels will be adjusted. You can also add a panel to a list of panels. To do this, drag a panel into another panel. You can drop it into the highlighted center region, or you can drop it into the bar of windows itself. If you're not happy with the order of those windows, you can click and drag them around to change the order. Lastly, you can hold Control on Windows or Command on Mac while clicking and dragging in order to pop out a panel and have it float above After Effects. If you have multiple monitors, this is also essential for expanding your workspace across all of your screens. If you'd like to remove a window completely, you can click on the hamburger menu next to it and select Close Panel. If you want to add it back again, just click on the window menu and toggle it on again. Speaking of which, not every panel is active in every workspace. To activate a new panel, click on the window menu and enable it. Then you can drag it around using the methods we just covered. You can also resize panels. To do so, place your cursor between two panels and a double arrow cursor will appear. You can click and drag to adjust the size of these two panels and no other ones will be affected. You can also place your cursor on the intersection of three or more panels to adjust all of them at once. Once you've finished customizing your workspace to your liking, you'll want to save it for later use. Click on Window, Workspace, Save as New Workspace. Then give it a new name and save it. You'll then be able to access it via the top menu. If you edit a workspace so far beyond repair that you can't get it back to its original qualities, don't worry. You can click on the hamburger menu next to the workspace name and click on Reset to save layout. This will reset the layout back to its default settings. Adobe After Effects is incredibly customizable and flexible, so hopefully you can create your ideal setup with the help of these tips. If you learned something about After Effects workspaces from this video, how about you leave a like and subscribe for more great photo and video content. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.